Hi cruisers, it's Sherry back with another cruise gear episode. Today we're taking a look at the king of action cameras. That's right, it's the GoPro. Okay, there are hundreds and thousands of reviews and comparisons on YouTube, so we're not going to rehash all that stuff and get into the specifics of each model, but we'll tell you what we use and offer some general advice. Let's start with the basics. The GoPro is a small, mountable, high-quality video and still camera. This little guy, here. It was originally marketed to extreme sports enthusiasts, you know, those crazies that ski down erupting volcanoes and stuff, but because of its quality and versatility, it now has a much broader appeal. One of the things that makes GoPro a great fit for cruisers is its size and durability. It travels so well. The small size, rugged cases, and the fact that it can be mounted just about anywhere make it our go-to excursion cam. Many cruise destinations offer activities and conditions that are a perfect match for the GoPro. We are not going to take our DSLR or Handycam to the beach, but I wouldn't think twice about tossing this little guy in my day pack. It's perfect for that and other things like biking, zip lining, and snorkeling. It can even handle snow. If you're going to use it for extreme conditions, you'll have to put it in the appropriate case door. There are lots of options. Some offer impact resistance, while others are waterproof. So, here's what we like about GoPro cameras. Given the right conditions, the video is just stunning. The GoPro loves the outdoors, especially a bright, sunny day. We bought our first GoPro specifically for the beach, and it didn't let us down. We also like the rugged waterproof cases. We have no worries about taking it snorkeling or even handing it off to our seven-year-old son for a trip down the water slide. And here's what we don't like. The prices for these guys can be a little bit steep. Now, to be fair, it really is a high-end camera stuffed into an incredibly small package and quality gear is not cheap. We get that, and ultimately, we feel like it's a great investment. Gotta capture those memories, right? But still, the initial investment can sting a little. Remember I said that the GoPro loves the outdoors? Not so much for indoors. It does okay, but it's just not as good as the outdoor quality. Now, depending on the model that you get, the menu system can be challenging for some. The Hero 4, for example, has no touch screen, so options are selected using these buttons and this little menu screen. They make an add-on touch screen, but it has to be purchased separately. Speaking of add-ons, there are probably hundreds of accessories for the GoPro. Get ready, the initial price of this baby is just the beginning. My husband has bags of this stuff. So, our final thoughts? This is a great little camera and a terrific cruise and travel investment. While the camera and the gear can be quite costly, we recommend it for active cruisers. Picking the best model can be a difficult decision though. We have the Hero 4 Black. It can do 4K video, but it has no built-in touchscreen. Now, if you have a 4K television and don't plan on doing a lot of editing, it might be a good option for you. On the other hand, 4K video takes up a lot of storage space and can be difficult to edit for some. The lower models do 1080p and some, like the Hero Silver and Hero Plus LCD, have built-in touchscreens. Unless you're really into 4K, we recommend getting a model with the built-in screens. Competition in the action cam market is pretty fierce these days. So if GoPro seems a little too pricey, you may want to look at some of the lower price competitors. The quality with some of the competitors has gotten quite good. And we'll post a couple of examples on our website, cruisetipstv.com to get you started. That's it for this episode. Until next time, get in gear and get cruising. the king of action cameras. That's right, it's the GoPro. <laughs>